Hello, my name is Elise and I am the cellist of the String Queens. Today's lesson is on improvisation. Now, when I was younger, the word improvisation totally intimidated me. And if you're anything like I was, I want you to think about improvisation this way. Think of it as the freedom to create or invent new ideas. These ideas come from you, so no one can say you're wrong, right? All right, well, let's get started. Let's think of this as like a dish we're preparing. And of course, in dishes, what do we need? Ingredients. So let's start with our first ingredient. The first one is the key. You want to know which key you're going to work out in, work out your improvisation, work out anything, even when we're just practicing. Know your key. Today's key will be B minor. The relative major is D major. And for string players, D is our first scale that we learn on our instrument, okay? Now, the second thing we need, our second ingredient is what scale are we playing? We can play all different kinds of B minor scales. And today, what I'm going to do is choose the B blues, all right? A blue scale. So in our blue scale, these are the notes. I want you to listen. B, D, E, F, F sharp, A, and then B. I'm gonna repeat that, and this time I want you to finger your notes as I say them, all right? B, D, E, F, F sharp, A, and then B. Well, guess what? We've said the scale notes, we've fingered the scale notes, and now it's time to what? Practice the scale. So I'm going to use this B minor blues track to help us get started and, and getting used to the sound of playing in B minor. And we're gonna practice our scale with this track. Now, what I'd like for you to do is play along with me. We're gonna do half notes starting on B on the G string. When we get up to the high B on the A string, we're gonna play that for four counts. After we do that for four counts, we're gonna come back, repeat that B, but in half notes and keep going in half notes back down to the scale, ending with a whole note B on the G string. Let's get ready. And one, two, ready, B. D, E, F, F sharp, A, four counts, B, two, three, B again, half notes, B, A, F sharp, F, E, B, four beats on the B, two, three, four. All right, I think you did a great job there. I know you did. And guess what, if you didn't, just stop the tape rewind and do it again. We're gonna do that scale again, this time with quarter notes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Half note here, B again. Try it again, try it again. Nice job, nice job. I know you did a great job there. So what we're now going to do is talk about some ideas in improvisation. Don't forget, this is the freedom for you to create and invent new ideas, all right? Now, that sounds great, but the question is where do I start with all of that? So what I'm going to do right now is just give you some ideas so that it helps you create your own. So in improvisation, I want you to think about this. Don't feel the pressure to play all of the notes of the scale, first of all, and then don't feel the pressure to play on all of the beats in the piece, okay? So we're gonna start this track again, and I want you to, this time, listen to some ideas that I have, and hopefully it inspires you to create your own ideas. Um, what I'm going to start with is just really just playing the same thing we did, the B blue scale, but just in a different rhythm. And it sounds a little fancier if I just do it in a different rhythm. Um, once I do this, I want you to try it yourself, okay? All right, I'm just gonna wait for this part right here. And then we're gonna go on and I'm gonna give you just an idea I have, okay? And one, two, three, four. <laughs> just did all I did was just play the scale 
in a fancy little rhythm. And you can do the same. Now, let's come up with a different idea. Maybe the next idea can be leaving a little bit more space between the notes and being a little bit more rhythmic. Another thing I want you to really think about is we went over seven, seven notes of the B blues scale, but you can also use more than those seven notes. Don't forget you do have octaves. So if I'm starting on the B on the G string, I can do the B on the A string too. I can also do the B all the way up here in this position, right? Um, also, F sharp is one of the notes, right? I can do an F sharp on the C string. I can do an F sharp on the, on the A string. Make sure you open up and expand the range of your instrument, okay? Play more than just one octave of your instrument. So what I'm going to do is start the track again, and I'm going to give another idea. And this time, the idea is going to be a little bit more rhythmic, okay? Um, I'll probably start the same way I started, and then give a new idea in a rhythmic pattern. Now, your notes are basically B, E, B. And right here, listen to this. This goes to a G, and then for another measure it goes to F sharp, and then it goes to B. Sometimes it's great to hit the root of the chord. Here we go. All right, leaving some space. Now I'm just going to hit three notes. Now I think I'll hit a low F sharp, an OG. F sharp. Not a lot of notes. And so what I think I'll do is a combination of all of that. I may do a lot of things with a lot of notes in maybe about four measures and then back off a little bit, think about it a little bit more and maybe go in with a couple of notes. Repeating the note also works. Your improvisation is more than just the, the actual B, D, E, F sharp, F, A, and B. It's also the rhythm, okay? So sometimes in our playing, just on a B. And then. I'm going to go now low. Very simple. And I'm going to go to G. F sharp. Think about your improv starting with something like that and then play around afterwards. So I'm gonna give, now we've finished with three ingredients, our key, our scale, and then some rhythmic ideas, okay? Now, one more thing, one more ingredient that just kind of makes your dish a little different from someone else's, the exact same dish, but your ingredient gives it a little bit more pizzazz. This ingredient, I'm putting my bow down, is pizzicato. Okay, we're going to do a little pizzicato improvisation. We're not trying to be a bass player, but you've got to admit bass players are amazing. And when they do bass solos, ah, it just warms my heart. So what we're going to start with is just two fingers. I want you to put two fingers on those strings. Don't just do this kind of pizzicato. I want you to do a pizzicato where you're resting that thumb on the side of that fingerboard, not underneath it. Okay, and not daintily right here. We're just gonna put it on the side like, like a bassist. Okay, we're gonna steal from them, steal that technique. And then we're gonna walk around the strings with two fingers, okay? All right, I'm gonna play this again and then give you some rhythmic ideas. Oh, actually, I can do that now. playing on every beat. I left some space and that's what you can do in your improvisation. So let's try it. I'm going to start this time more at the beginning instead of right here at the click. Here we go. Starting at 
starting with just these three notes. Now let's put it all together. I'm gonna do the arco and then I'm gonna put my bow down for some pizzicato. What I want you to do though, think about this if you're going back and forth between arco and pizzicato, make sure your last note in your arco leaves you enough space to safely put your bow down and then use your two fingers for pizzicato, okay? Let's see what I come up with. Just thinking off the cuff, what do I wanna sound like in these few minutes? Okay, here we go. it for me. What I want you to do is have a lot of fun with what you do. Creating is really what comes from within you. You can listen to as many musicians as you want and I suggest that you do so that you can figure out what truly is your sound. Don't be afraid to try everything and anything, okay? Because it just makes us all better. Make sure you listen a lot and also play a lot. Please, please, please send me your creation. Send me your final dish. You can send that to thestringqueens at gmail.com. It's been a pleasure and have a lot of fun. Bye bye. <laughs>